All right, hello folks. I'm Tower Games. I am bringing you a special video today as a follow-up to my Ninja Turtle video, my prediction on the Ninja Turtles. Um, and I kind of just want to I want to do a couple things in this video. I want to quickly uh, I want to quickly respond to um, all the new people who want to know a little bit more about this channel. Um, I also want to answer a crucial question of how did I predict the Ninja Turtles? And so basically, <laughs> so yeah, a lot of you have been commenting and asking me like, how, like, how did you know? Like, how did you figure this out? I, w I wanna like, in a different video, not obviously in this one, but I wanna like read a lot of these comments because some of them are so funny. <laughs> but in any case, in any case, so I want to quickly break down uh, how how I predicted the turtles. Uh, basically, so my thought process was that I explained this in the video, but um, what was happening was all all the big Injustice Two YouTubers were predicting characters that weren't surprising. Characters like Rorschach. Um, let me see, uh, Spawn. And characters of that nature, um, you know, SMG Princess said uh, Black Panther. And, you know, these are all good guesses for, you know, surprise characters in a sense. But not when you take Ed Boon's comments into consideration of the biggest surprise ever and a fight style we've never seen before. Um, so keeping that in mind, all of these other guesses just just aren't possible i mean black panther would not have a moveset we've never seen before rorschach rorschach doesn't have any superpowers spawn is basically kind of like scorpion i imagine and so you know there's nothing really that different about these characters so what i decided to do was i thought in my head uh, when I heard that news and I said, so this, this, this reveal has to transcend DC Comics. This surprise reveal will not be, you know, a DC Comics character. And my original thought was, okay, this has to be a character owned by Warner Brothers. Um, so in my first video about the surprise characters, I, I talked about, um, basically the Harry Potter series. Uh, Lord of the Rings and uh, you know series like that I even touched on the Matrix Neo I, I and you know right before the reveal I was really thinking it was gonna be Neo like I was pretty much dead set sold on Neo um, Neo has the most Neo has the most in-game evidence of appearing and outside <laughs> evidence of appearing as well so he has all this uh, evidence of appearing in the game itself. And also so does Rorschach. Rorschach also has a lot of in-game references. And he also has a big thing going on outside of the Injustice game. Being the Doomsday Clock comic series that's coming out pretty soon. And so I was pretty dead set on Neo before the reveal. But I couldn't, I couldn't stop thinking that... I couldn't shake the feeling that Neo isn't surprising. And, I, and I'm assuming a lot of the younger kids who play this game aren't going to know who that is. The, probably their older brother or sister will tell them, oh, it's from this movie that's like 15 years old. <laughs> and they're going to be like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, that probably would have been the reaction. It's, oh, it's a guy from a movie I've never seen. Okay, cool. Um, and that's part of why what makes this reveal so great and um if i haven't explicitly said this yet uh i think i'm so excited for the turtles i think they are going to be my favorite in the game um my personal favorite was scarecrow I, and the thing i like about him is i already like the character a lot but i love what they did with the character they took a concept that most other fighting game developers probably wouldn't do and it's the fact that scarecrow is like an abstract fighter 
in the game he doesn't actually fight he just brings on a hallucination and then his hallucination form fights you and i thought that was so cool which is why he's my favorite character because a concept like that is just great he's the best con conceptual character in the game um but what i was saying what i was going to say originally about the ninja turtles is that you don't need to see any ninja turtle movie you don't need to watch the comics i mean you don't need to read the comics you don't need to watch the tv show you don't need to own the toys all you have to do is look at a picture of the ninja turtles or hear someone describe the turtles or watch a two minute clip of the turtles in action and you already know what they're all about there's four of them they all have different personalities and they all have different weapons and they know how to fight and they're also very entertaining and not only that they're appealing to kids and also adults at the same time as far as i'm concerned that description would probably go for a character like batman as well you never had to need you never would have had to watch a batman movie you don't have to watch the comics i mean i said it again you don't have to read the comics you don't have to watch the tv show you just look at a picture of Batman, watch maybe a two minute clip, listen to him speak, watch somebody play a Batman game, or anything like that, and you know that he is an awesome character that can fight, that can solve, you know, that is he's a great detective, he has an awesome voice, and all of that. And that's why I think the Ninja Turtles work so great because not only was it an unexpected surprise it's also a character that is gonna fit really well into this game um i mean really think about it for, for anybody who's mad about this think about it you can fight superman with a ninja turtle you can fight dark side with a ninja turtle you can you can fight bane you can fight batman as a ninja turtle ninja on ninja basically i mean to me that is that is so cool that is really cool that you can fight i mean and you have hellboy versus a ninja turtle or even better sub-zero a mortal Kombat character fighting a ninja turtle like you have a rated m video game character fighting a kind of a kids cartoon comic character well not for kids but it's just and that's yeah that's what i love about it but to explain a little more on how i actually predicted the ninja turtles people might think that you know i've guessed a lot of characters you know if, if you guess a lot of things you're bound to be right on one of them right but in terms of my guesses I only had a few guesses that I legitimately thought were true. So I have made four videos total. My first one was Wolverine slash Darkclaw. And if you don't know who Darkclaw is, Darkclaw is a combination character between Batman and Wolverine called Darkclaw. And yeah, that's Marvel Wolverine. So basically, he is a combination character between Batman and the Wolverine. And now, the reason why I picked that character was because I actually screwed up big time. Um, in the game I play, Injustice Mobile, I found a Catman, the character Catman picture, with the claws. And I thought it was Dark Claw, but I was wrong. It was actually Catman. And so I based this whole theory off something that was wrong. And so, technically, I guess, once that happened, I didn't consider Wolverine and Dark Claw an actual pick anymore. But just to set the record straight, let's say that was guess number one. And then guess number two was the Ninja Turtles. Logically, in my mind, in terms of the most surprising characters that were non-DC, and that's that's the thing here, I was picking non-DC characters, uh, I, I said to myself, the Ninja Turtles. They have collaborated with DC, um, they are ninjas, they would offer a playstyle never before seen, and yeah, they would just overall be surprising, and they would fit in the game well. 
And that was sort of my mindset for that. Um, so that was my mindset for picking the turtles. And I really, and what, what I find funny looking back is that I had the least confidence in this particular theory. I put like all my money on Wolverine and Darkclaw. And then after this, I said Deadpool could be a char- could be the character. And I felt way more confident in that than the Ninja Turtles. Just because I thought that the Ninja Turtles being an injustice seems so impossible. Like I, I was thinking, I'm like, no, nah, there's there's just no way. Like like I feel like there would be a Marvel character in a DC game before the Ninja Turtles. But hell, I was wrong. <laughs> It ended up being the Ninja Turtles. But yeah, looking back on it, that's the funniest part. That I had so little confidence in the Ninja Turtles being the surprise characters. I mean, I came up a theory for how they would play and why I think they could be the surprise characters. But with so little confidence in my decision. And that's the truly funny part. To some extent, I did think this is definitely possible. Because this would be surprising. It, this would definitely be surprising and and even the even funnier part is I make a point as uh, against the turtles saying that basically I don't see the turtles because I don't see the reaction being everybody freaking out uh, or even myself I even said if if it was the turtles I wouldn't be freaking out but in my video in my actual reaction I was freaking out and now I guess you could say that That has more to do with me guessing the turtles correctly. Uh, You know, which I still think is a big deal. Because when you're talking about a surprise character, you you could be talking about anybody. I mean, this could have been the Power Rangers, you know. This could have been like the Teletubbies. I mean, like, not actually, but I'm just saying in terms of surprise. If you're talking about an unexpected character, you're talking about anybody. And so, yeah, um, but basically, yeah, that's the funny part about that video as well, that I didn't think the reaction from me would be that great, and yet it was. Um, but that kind of had more to do with the fact that I picked the, the turtles correctly. But I will give it that. I was so surprised to see that the turtles were actually the character, that that is what made me freak out. That is what made me... I was so surprised. I really was so surprised. Ed Ed was totally right. And I knew, for some reason, I knew when he said this is going to be the most surprising character, I believed him. And when everyone was talking about, you know, Spawn, Rorschach, all these predictable characters, I was thinking, I'm like, guys, this has to be a surprise, not predi- not just some character that we've all wanted. Like, this has to be unexpected, non-DC, non-Warner Brothers. This has to be something out of the blue. Um, and before this video gets too long, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap this up. So after that, I talk about Deadpool. Um, the reason I bring him up is because he would be unexpected, and I talk about how he would have a play style of, like, breaking the fourth wall, so he would, like, interact with, like, parts on the screen that you're not supposed to be able to interact with. His whole moveset could be based on the fact that he's in a TV and that he could sort of, uh, like, manipulate the fight in certain ways. I I feel like that's a cool concept, and I think they should actually... That's such a cool concept, and I think they should actually try and do that with a character one day. A character that, that interacts with other fighters in the realm that they know they're on TV and they can manipulate the fact that they're in a game setting. I think someone with a moveset like that would be really cool. And I don't think we've ever seen that before. I mean, out of the fighting styles we've never seen before, I feel like most things have been covered. But off the top of my head, I think that's the one thing we've never seen. If there is a fighting game where something like that happens though, I don't think it does. Uh, let me know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, I am also going to make a separate video on how I think the Turtles are going to play. I originally said that they're going to play in the style of four ways to play. Where you play as either one, two, three, or four Turtles. And they have, you know, their health bars work in certain ways. But you know what? That is not, that's not that weird. That's not that crazy. 
you know, the turtles tag in and out. That's not... That's not something... If, you know, if the mobile games count as fighting games, if they fight as fighting games that exist, that's the format they use. So technically, Ed Boon would be lying if he said that this has never been seen before in a fighting game. So I have a new theory. And I think this is right, because I don't know how many... And not to pat myself on the back, obviously, but it's like... I don't know how many different ways they could go about doing four characters on the screen at the same time. So I don't think this is that crazy. I think this is probably just the most likely way of doing it. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to talk about that in the video. You're going to have to you're going to have to watch the next video I upload where I talk about it. But anyway, I just want to wrap up. Oh, and the final video I made on the, on this whole topic was top 5 picks. Now, what's funny in that video as well is I I did not put the Ninja Turtles in any of the five spots. I bring them up briefly by saying I've talked about the Ninja Turtles, but I don't think they're going to be the surprise characters. And I think that that's so funny, looking back on that. But the thing I emphasize in that video, and I still emphasize now, is that in that video, the five characters I pick are the characters that are most likely based on the evidence they have within the game, not like my personal opinion. Um, that's why I include characters like Spawn and Rorschach, even though I knew that it there was a 0% chance of them being the surprise character. But I said, technically, if, if you want to talk about evidence, yes, there is evidence. But they're not surprising, which pretty much automatically takes them off the list. And yeah, so in any case, that's it. That's the story of how I predicted the Ninja Turtles. I predicted the Ninja Turtles simply because I thought of characters that would would be a, not only a complete surprise, but would offer a way of fighting we've never seen and you know out of sending my mind through countless characters i was thinking you know they've collaborated with dc before and even without that they're still fighting characters everybody knows who they are like nobody's gonna see them and be like oh who are these reptilian fellows you know like no one's gonna be like, oh who are these uh turtle looking guys and they could be like obviously every single human knows who they are so that's kind of so that's kind of the point with this whole thing so that's it that's how i predicted the ninja turtles simply it was simply just a blind stupid guess and le legitimately i didn't think that this was the case because i don't want to give myself too credit originally but I'm, I've yet to see any evidence of someone else legitimately guessing the Ninja Turtles in the realm of the, as being the surprise character pick, not just in the game, not just like somebody a year ago saying, oh, the Ninja Turtles will work good in this game, like a year ago. I'm saying, in the time frame of Ed Boon saying, this character in Fighter Pack 3 is going to be a surprise. I don't think I've seen anybody guess the Ninja Turtles. Although I think I saw one guy guess the Turtles. But I think he only said that because I think he saw my video and then said, mm, okay. <laughs> and then I think he was like, alright, I'll just put, you know, I'll just, you know, I'll just put that in my video as well. But, it, you know, <laughs> obviously my video came out first. Um, so, that's my thoughts on that. Um... <laughs> So yeah, um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for the support. The support on this video and on this channel the last week has been absolutely insane. I'm going to elaborate more on this in a different video, I guess, because this is, video is already way too long. But you guys are incredible. In the past month, I've gotten 130 subscribers. By the time I post this video, probably more than that. So I'm gonna keep the uploads coming. Thank you for the tremendous support. Um, and yeah, 
thank you for watching my video and thank you for for just the <laughs> just the awesome comments so far it's my most commented video by far with almost with over 500 comments now i think and like or maybe over over 300 comments and like 500 likes that's the best i've ever done on youtube so far it's nice to know that my current state on youtube is the best i've ever done even though i've only been doing youtube for about maybe two almost two years um in any case it's time to cut off the video thank you for watching keep on fighting please like this video and if you want to subscribe for awesome content, for awesome Ninja Turtles content in Injustice 2, obviously I'm going to be covering every Ninja Turtle related thing in Injustice 2 because this is where a lot of you new subscribers have come from. So this is what I'm going to be covering. Thank you. Keep on fighting. Please like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day.